Just like I told people at the Audrey event, you know, the question that you, the, the answer to the question you never ask is always no. So I figured I'd call Kevin up and see, see what he thought. So he was gracious and didn't hesitate. They'd be happy to come up and help us and help, help his team. So, um, you know, uh, thank you, thank you so much for that, Tom and, and Kevin. So, for anybody that doesn't know, Kevin Merriweather is a five-star ambassador with Visalis Sciences. He, he is in the top ten of the money earner money earners for Visalis. We have him in our presence here. You want to listen to what he has to say. You want to take notes. You want to you want to listen and put into action what he says. He was uh, he went ambassador in six months. He went five star in eighteen months. He knows what he's doing. Uh, he 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 came from a twenty year background at UPS, and he's the one you see in the video where he said you know he became job optional and. Um, his story, when he gave his five-star speech at our last event, that story resonated with a lot of people on our team. A lot of people. Todd Gagne being one of them. Todd, you want to share what, what, you know, what, what Kevin had to say and how that, how that affected you? Right, when we were in Atlanta, it actually affected me before, but it really hit home in Atlanta. You know, the job optional. It's, um, you know, take back your life, uh, unplug from the matrix, as everyone knows. Has anybody seen that? Um, I don't know if everyone has seen it, but anyway, from Atlanta, it was a really good segment from the, the matrix movie. But it really resonated, and I, we were sitting at the bar, and I literally said, he's the one I relate to most right there, because I want to be job optional, I want to move on, and try by Salas for the rest of my life. And um, I actually, the, the witnesses right there, and then they said, oh no, he's coming. I said, what? Unbelievable, right? <laughs> Nothing, everything happens for a reason, I swear to God, it was unbelievable. Um, and then um, what happened three weeks ago to me, I actually got laid off from pharmaceutical sales. And the uh, first one to call me was Tracy Pugliot. Pugliot. She said, congratulations, <laughs> as I was in total trouble. Stop, right? And it was so appropriate, but at the time, I'm like, I just got laid off yesterday. <laughs> But um, it was for the better, like when I say I did research for 13 years and I did pharmaceutical sales for 10 years and now I'm going to do um, my next segment of my life and it's so much better is my salad. So it resonated, it resonated with me and um, I really appreciate him being here today. So without further ado, we'd like to bring up five-star ambassador, <laughs> Kevin Merriman. Just hit off, man, and uh, had a great time. 
you know, become dear friends. So um, excited to be here in the Pouliots. You're right, Matt, you asked, and hey, we're here. So, um, and of course, Mr. Uh, Tom Karen here, I'm proud of this guy, you know, he's blazing the trail. And uh, I promise when, when, you, when you win RD, I would uh, come up, right? Well, you didn't just go, you broke a couple of more. So, we're here, congratulations to you. This, uh, this has been an amazing ride. I am here just to share a little bit of uh, you know, our story, our testimony, and talk a little bit about the compensation plan, you know, where, uh, where we started with the company 18, 19, 20 months ago, you know, where the company was then, and where, where we are now, and then where we're going. Uh, because the next 18 months, the last 18 months were great. Uh, I mean, it was a storybook, and it was a fairy tale, but the next, the next 18 months are gonna, it's just gonna blow anything that we've seen out of the water. It will pale in comparison the last 18 months to what we're gonna experience. So you guys are in the right place at the right time with the right company. Are y'all excited about that? So, uh, uh, just a little bit about Stephanie and I. I mean, she did 20 years in an insurance company. I was 20 years at UPS. Retired her about five years ago and uh, promised she would never have to go out and get another job. I was about to have to renege on that 19 months ago when my buddy called me. Uh, and yeah, things were getting tight. It never got tight? Does it get tight up here in Maine? Okay. It was getting tight in Jacksonville. But uh, we, uh, both of us were born and raised in Jacksonville. Uh, you know, you started UPS at 17 years old. Always been kind of ambitious, looking for something else outside, but never really made any money outside of UPS. And uh, no complaints about the, the, the Brown machine. It was a great experience, great company. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about UPS, so don't, you know, I get a lot of folks, oh, you know, they wanted me to burn my uniforms when I retired. I'm like, oh, that was my family, you know, those guys, I spent 20 years with them. But great experience. But uh, a friend of mine called me up about this uh, March 18th of last year and said he lost 12 pounds drinking the shakes. Uh, I've been around the gym before, and I know you don't lose 12 pounds doing, you know, anything physical, so I knew he had to be doing something with his diet. I saw the 90-day challenge, uh, the, the, it was centered around the meal replacement shake. Actually, I turned this down. Tim Kirkland called me a month and a half prior, and he says, hey, Kev, we're going to get rich, helping people lose weight and get in shape. They're going to uh, give us free BMWs. We're going to make a lot of money. I says, Tim, I don't have time to make a lot of money and get rich because I'm working. All right, and uh, I turned it down. I mean, Tim Kirkland's a five-star ambassador today. Does I don't know four or five million a month in sales. So uh, you know, I, I turned him down. But when Steve called me a month and a half later, he talked about his physical testimony. And I'm teaching here a little bit. Don't call your friends talking about getting rich because nobody has time. Okay, keep it on the physical. Keep it keep it exciting on you know the transformation, the 90 day challenge. That's what we are, and that's what we do. We promote a challenge. Steve talked about his 90-day challenge and his 12 pounds, and immediately I said, Steve, whatever you're doing, send me some, I'll be your customer. And uh, then he says, no, it ain't going down like that. You gotta take a look at the business. I said, wait a minute, is that that same thing Tim told me about? And, uh, and, and because he was smart enough to put me on the phone with Kyle Cassetti, uh, who at the time was the, already the top earner in the company, uh, we had a big boy conversation, and everything he said just made sense. You know, he says, Kevin, you're, you've been working there 20 years or 19 at the time. Has anything changed in the last 10? Nope. <laughs> he says, uh, do you want to change anything in the next couple of years? Yep. Well, you might want to give this a shot. And so uh, we did. And obviously, you heard a little bit of the story. You know, ambassador six months, 18 months later, five star, and it's just been an amazing ride. So what I'm going to do real quick here is give you just a little bit of the compensation plan. I am going to go fast. Because all of what you're going to see is in the back office or by net. And even better than that, you can go to uh, compplan.bysalis.com and watch the videos by Blake Mountain, our CMO. Uh, he does a much better job of explaining the compensation plan because he wrote it. And uh, <laughs> you can take your time and watch each you know, part of the compensation plan in detail. But I'm just going to hit the highlights. So I'm going to go fast. Y'all, is that OK? Yes. All right, because then after that, I want to talk a little bit about our mindset, what we have when we started, because uh, I think that's more important than breaking the comp plan down. Amen? Yes. All right, okay. So let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's me. You never see my name like that. <laughs> but um, obviously, there's three.
three different ways to come in. You know, the 49 basic, we don't deal with that a whole lot. Uh, when we started, all they gave us the option was DSS. Y'all do that up here? Yeah, yeah, we didn't know anything about a $49 until about three months in. It's like, really? <laughs> but uh, anyway, ESS, that's the only way to get going. ESS with samples. Uh, obviously, you get a lot more samples in the ESS uh, with samples. And, uh, you know, if everybody on your team came in ESS with samples, you just double the numbers. And, uh, I mean, we, uh, there's an attorney, uh, Alan Welch. He went from ND to ambassador in a month and a half uh, because everybody came in ESS with samples. And uh, he's down in uh, Savannah, Georgia area. So uh, tax advantages, not going to talk a whole lot about that, but if you don't own a small business in America today, you're probably missing the boat. Come on. Uh, if all you have is a W-2, you know, I mean, we owned a small business for the last 15 years. Never made a lot of money, but we owned something. And uh, the tax advantages alone will work you know, the small investment that it cost us to start a company. And uh, the best time to start a home-based business is when? Yeah. <laughs> now. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can write it off next month and uh, get an immediate return on that. So, really cool deal. But um, obviously, we have to be active. $125 in volume or, or PQV, personal qualified volume, uh, or auto ship of, uh, on auto ship or have $200 in PQV or customer sales. You know, you, a couple of uh, shape kits, you know, uh, two or three uh, balance kits, and you're active even if you didn't have, you know, a personal uh, order of uh, 125. Average uh, active associate makes somewhere between zero and 500 bucks a month. Uh, the next level is director, $2,000 in total GQV in one month, and you have to have three of those active legs to become a director. If you do it in the first month, you're a rising star. Average is one to five, uh, five, 500 to $1,000 a month. And uh, really cool deal there. Now, per three in your next month, three, that's why they call us the $10 million challenge, right? Uh, you know, you go out and get three buddies to join you on the challenge, you never have to pay for the product. No overhead, no carrying costs, I love that. That is the main driver to why my salus is going into major momentum. Everybody else in the industry is trying to duplicate the three uh, for free program because it works. You know, uh, most companies, the retention rate is in the toilet, right? Well, by Salus, when I signed the application a year and a half ago, had about a 90% retention rate, which is unheard of because of the people that were uh, getting their product free. You know, if you're gonna get a box, UPS man, huh? so UPS buddy. <laughs> if the UPS man's gonna drop you a box and it didn't cost you anything, are you gonna tell him to send it back? Yeah. No, he's bringing you 30, 60 full meals for free and you're going to tell them no. So get your folks product, help them get their product free and they'll never click off auto ship. All right? Uh, next one, Rise of Star Weekly Rollers Pool. Basically, uh, the pools are set up so that the brand new person can realize their initial investment right away. All right? You know, when we started, uh, we, we sponsored four people the first night. Didn't understand what a Rise of Star director was, didn't know, didn't care but I made my initial investment back that night. I hit both pools and I was like, okay, that's, that felt good. I'm gonna swim again next week, right? <laughs> and my goal every week was to get in the pools. They've got three different ways that you can get in. Uh, once you hit Rising Star, which is the director, uh, you get three points in the pool. Uh, you can also hit it when you uh, bring in three ESSs in a week between Friday and Thursday night. You get paid on Monday. You also uh, enter three points into the pool uh, or three customers in a week from Friday to Thursday night and do a total of $500 in sales between the three. Not really hard to do either of the three of those. Now, once you become a rising star, every time you bring in three promoters in a week, you hit the pool. Every time you bring in three customers that do over 500, you hit the pool. So there's multiple, I mean, you can do it for the next couple of months and stay in the pools. Now, as your pin grows, you know, you may not bring quite as many brand new people in every week because you've got obligations to your team. But uh, the first couple of months, you can do it. And, and we proved that. We put 18 in in the first three weeks. Uh, and, and I mean, it was that's how you make five grand in the first month. Was that, is that okay? Can I throw that out there? Yeah. But, uh, and then each time you bring in another ESS over the original three in that week, you're going to get an additional three points in the pool, and it just doubles your money. Um, yeah, we just went through director. Next is regional director, 12.5 in volume. Uh, this is where the car comes in at. Average of one to 3,000 a month. The six, here's what, what, what's really important from, from uh, regional director on through ambassador. 
is there's a 60% rank criteria that kicks in. This is the only math quiz you'll have in my salads, okay? I didn't do so good in school. <laughs> negotiated my, I think I negotiated my way out of high school. And uh, the eight, nine months I had of college, I didn't do so well. My university told me not to come back. Uh, I don't know why I was paying them. You know, let me fail, you know, I'm paying you, right? But anyway, 60% uh, uh, of the volume in one team is what you can use to qualify you at a particular level, okay? So say you've got one team over here that's running, you know, $12,500 in volume, you can only use 60% of the 12, uh, of the number that you need, which is 12,500. Let's say the team is running $20,000 and you want to be a regional director. Well, 60% of 12,500 is $7,500, right? So you can only use $7,500 from that $20,000 lead to qualify you at regional director, which is a 12,500 pin. So that means the 40% would have to come from your personal enrollment, your other uh, personal enrollment tree legs outside of that one team, and your personal volume, your PQV, okay? So you have to have $5,000, that's the magic number. So if you're looking at someone down in your team and it's you see uh, that $20,000 leg, the magic number is outside, they need to have $5,000. Doesn't matter how, they can run $10 million in that one leg. They have to have $5,000 on the outside, okay? So regional director, one to 3,000 a month, not so bad. Uh, I think it took us a week and a half to qualify regional director. Uh, oh wow, I love this slide. Okay, good, perfect. Man, one time I had that in, it takes like three minutes for that thing to go through. Yeah, but uh, the, okay, regional director. Okay, the next one's national director, $40,000 on total GQB. Now, you guys realize everything we do is based on a month, January, February, March, right? We get paid every week, we also get paid every month, but the way you hit rank is they give you the entire month to qualify for that particular level based on the GQB, the gross qualifying volume, right? So if you've got, obviously you have to be active to qualify any level, and you have to have those same three active legs, but here's the deal with national, the 60% rank criteria is how much? 24,000 on the 60% side, that's all you can use from a leg. What's the other side? What's the 40%? Uh, 16 is the magic number there. 16,000 is what you need outside, and you're a national director, three to $5,000 a month. Uh, I think we hit that our first month in. Um, PD is $80,000 in sales, and uh, five to $10,000 a month, 48,000 is what you can use from one side. 60% rank is how much? I mean, the 40% is 32,000, right? I can tell my PD's up here. Mm -hmm. uh, 32,000 is the magic number over there. Uh, PD was our second month. That's when I matched my UPS salary. Now, two months from right now, let's say you're brand new. Brand new. You leave here 60 days from right now, you match your salary. How do you feel? Woo! Let me tell you something. You'll be running around this whole place <laughs> without a jacket on. See, we do that in Jacksonville because it ain't that cold now. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but <laughs> two months in BD, we were, we were excited. Ambassador, 150,000 in sales, 10 to 15,000 a month. Uh, 90 percent is what you, uh, 90,000 is what you can use from one leg. 60,000 is the the 40 percent on the other side, and uh, you're an ambassador with a five-figure monthly income. Six months to ambassador, not bad. Working every night, every night, every night, going to work. You imagine going to work every night, doing this on your way to work. I work at night, 9:20, 10 o'clock at night. I punch in. I work all night long. Sleep. Uh, get off from 8, 9 o'clock in the morning rush home, go to sleep fast, so I can go do this on my way to work again, all right? You imagine in six months putting together 10 to 15 grand a month and still going to work? It was like being in high school with a diploma already and a pocket full of money. <laughs> and you think back to high school, if you already had your diploma and a pocket full of money, they couldn't touch it, right? <laughs> That's how I felt, it was like, wow, getting away with something every night. But. Uh, <laughs> one star, two star, three, four, and five. Uh, average is 15 to 20, real cool there. Uh, I mean, you can see the numbers. Um, I, I remember when uh, I met Scott, he was an ambassador, and I don't know if you mind me telling this, Scott, but this was a while ago. This was a long time ago, actually, last year. Uh, <laughs> I was a PD, and I didn't know how much money was in this thing. I was just excited. And I was like, you know, we talked for about two hours. And then I thought, I'm going to ask him. 
You know what question I'm gonna ask, right? I mean, sir, come on, let's just, can we just be honest? I mean, when I started UPS at 17, the only reason I went is because they was paying $8 an hour. I was making $5.50 somewhere else. I was like, okay, I don't care what y'all want me to do, $8 an hour means $5.50. So when I signed the application, I says, Kyle, how much can we make and how fast? So when I, every leader I would get around and ask him, how much did you make last month? You know? And he told me $13,000 and some odd dollars. I thought, in one month? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Boy, I was like, I gotta get out of PD Paradise. I need to go have another meeting. You know? <laughs> I was ready to go home right then. But uh, man, I tell you, it, it's just amazing the incomes that can be realized in a very short period of time. And uh, it's nuts. So you see those there. Uh, Royal Ambassador, three, three stars. And uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six figures a month and up. Okay. Uh, Crown, same deal, five, three five stars. Uh, Stephanie and I were Kyle Pacetti's third five, second or third five star to go uh, for him to go to Crown. So not not too bad. I think uh, he picked up a one million dollar bonus that night. And uh, uh, we we actually were his uh, we were his fifth ambassador to go five star a year ago, September. And he called me up that night when we finally got over, and he goes, Kevin, we just made history. By Salas is writing the largest check they've ever written in the history of the company, $250,000 to him, Kyle Pacetti. And of course, we got our little 25,000. We were excited, right? And uh, you know what? One year later to the date, same month, wow. we are his third leg to go crown. We get the 250, well, we got 100,000 that month too and the 250000 and he gets a $1 million. So oh, the wow. same phone call, like, hey, we did it again. <laughs> so uh, really, 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 really But uh, and then Global, I don't even know how you get the Global, but uh, we're working on that. <laughs> oh my goodness, you see that? Five, five stars, imagine that. It's coming, y'all, next year. Uh, okay, get paid weekly and monthly, really cool. Uh, again, we get paid on Monday, the week starts Friday and Thursday night. Uh, monthly commissions are paid on the 15th of the month. One thing I love about the compensation plan is that you can build for the immediate gratification. Weekly bonuses, every Monday we get paid. For 20 years I got paid on a, on a Friday. You ever got broke on the weekend? Mm -hmm. Right here, post boy for that, right? Well, this was so cool because I could get broke on the weekend and get paid on Monday, right? <laughs> so immediately my goal was to match my UPS salary weekly. That was, a, that was a good goal, you know? If I could make an extra $1,500 a week doing this, I'm great, you know? Two checks in one week, you know? But, uh, so every month, you're gonna get a, a, a fifth check on the 15th of the month for what you did the pr previous month, okay? Um, and you can have your commissions set check. You know, I got the checks for about two weeks, mm -hmm, and then I needed my money on Monday, you know? Because the checks take a little longer to get to you, right? But uh, I love the buy card. Well, I, I used to like it. Um, on Friday, on Monday, they, they download the commissions and it's there and you can go check it. But after you hit Ambassador, you might move to your uh, bank account because that card will only give you $10,000 at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be in Las Vegas with only $10,000. But team building advantages, uh, rolling uh, QB, RQB for the folks that start on the 15th of the month or after when you start, uh, J, uh, let's say December 3rd, okay? You have the rest of December to, you know, run your volume up to whatever number, whatever you end the month of December at, that is your paid rent, okay? If you sign on the 15th of December, at the end of December, your month doesn't technically end. You get to carry all the volume that you created in the month of December through the end of the month of January, okay? And that happens every time you, a new person signs on the 15th or after, uh, you get to carry that volume into the next month. Really cool program, you hear a lot of stories where people are launching on the 15th and they hit a pin 45 days later. That's what that's all about, okay? Again, uh, weekly rank promotions, uh, two month grace period when you hit a rank, you know, let's say you get RD uh, and then you fall back the next month, they're still going to pay you as a regional director the second month. Really cool deal by Salas. Does not have to do that, but they do. Thank God for an understanding company, 
right? Really good deal. So, uh, since it's their waiting room, all I'm going to say about the waiting room is get with your upline, Indy or above, and sit down and figure out what, what you need to be doing with your waiting room. Let me, I will give you this, though. Every person that you put in, personally enrolled, goes into a 60-day waiting room. You have 60 days to determine where you're going to move that person within your organization. Obviously, you only get three legs, right? One, two, three that are direct to you. Everyone else has to go somewhere down under them. You determine who those three are going to be in your first 60 days. Everybody else will be placed down in depth in your organization. Don't mess with your waiting room, though, okay? Because once you move them, they're gone. They disappear. It's a really cool thing. You hit that button, and it says, are you sure? And when you hit it again, they disappear, right? And you can't move them back. So make sure you're counseling with a uh, national director or above, maybe even an ambassador. So 60-day uh, waiting room causes, creates a lot of leverage because you can, you can leverage someone in your waiting room over a team that's already out building, and you can reward the folks that do the most with the people that you build in your waiting room. A lot of companies are trying to uh, duplicate that because that is one of the main drivers in our compensation plan also, okay? Now, personal customer commissions, I don't have a lot of customers, I just put them all into business. But uh, I do have a couple. And uh, this is how the customer commissions work. Zero to 200 is not paid out until you get to 201. Uh, between two and 500 is 10%. On down through $2,500. Over $2,500, you get 25% of all the customers you put in that month. That's where you want to be. Uh, I've got a young lady, Shannon Curry, single mom. Well, not single mom. Uh, she's got twin one-year-old babies at home and a six-year-old that she homeschools. I remember her at her first meeting. Kevin, you think I can do this? I said, sure you can, we'll help you. She goes home, she says, well, I don't even leave the house, you know, and I'm buried in babies all day. And I says, you can do it. Well, you know what, two months in, 45 days in, she's qualified for her BMW, she had 70 customers, okay? 70 customers, yeah, not bad. So, and I remember, at the end of the second month, she said, well, I can't get in those ESS things, right? She only had a couple. Well, now she's a national director, I think she's gonna hit PD this month and she's got 20 personals already so she's cranking what my point in that guys is it started with customers she couldn't get traction on the ESS's but she just put them in as customers take the customers all right um, superstar promotion um, again 25,000 an ambassador three star when you help three people hit ambassador 100,000 when you help five an ambassador you hit the five star ambassador quarter million dollars not bad for a truck driver uh, superstar, Royal Ambassador, half a million dollars is when you hit those three three stars, and then Crown is the one million dollar for three five stars, okay? So, uh, all right, I breeze through that, guys, because the compensation plan is the compensation plan, all right? Just know this, the compensation plan is stars and cars, okay? We create stars, and then we put them in cars. That's our compensation plan. I know all of this is the details, okay? And yeah, you need to know some of that. But I'm gonna tell you, the first four or five months, I don't think I understand stood any of that. All we were doing was having another challenge party. That's all we did. We did challenge parties all day and all night, okay? So don't worry about trying to understand all of this, but again, go to compplan.mysalus.com if you need to know some more details on each one of the ways that we get paid, okay? Uh, now, these are some slides that uh, Matt threw in there. And uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about each one. And uh, you know, we started, when we started uh, March 18th, uh, you got to know, we, all right. Some folks say, well, how did you go so fast in the beginning, okay? When you were working full time, and you never really done this before to make any money. How did, you, how did you guys go so fast? Well, first of all, we followed the system. All right, we followed the getting started training to a T. We didn't even know it was the getting started training, but we were following it, okay? We didn't have a nice smooth video with Nick and Ashley on it, all right? We didn't have, uh, I mean, there was a video, but it wasn't smooth. Uh, we, we didn't have nice forms filled out. I remember taking uh, credit cards on a paper, you know? I mean, we didn't even know where to print applications at. But here's the deal. We followed the system, okay, of what Kyle Pacetti taught us. He came to my house, well, the first exposure to this was a, a, a meeting at a Marriott, just like this. I called in, I, I signed up at 3.30. Now, I've never tasted shakes. I've never seen anything. But I signed up BSS because we had a conversation, and it just made sense. Kyle said, you've got to meet us at Marriott tonight. I said, well, I work tonight. 
uh, well, you're going to work tomorrow night, aren't you? I said, yep. He said, well, don't you think you can take one night off just to come check this thing out? We've got a multimillionaire flying in called name Nick Sarnacola. And uh, Mike Craig will be there too. And I said, okay, I'll be there. And uh, I called into work that night. Um, Stephanie and I went down. It was 350 people at the first hotel meeting in Jacksonville. And I sit in the front row, and uh, Nick does the presentation live. Let me tell you, I was two inches off the ground. I was so excited because I saw it. Now, I tasted the shakes on the way in. And I, once I tasted them, I thought, okay, this is good. You know, because I told Steve if it's nasty, I'm going to be upset. That would be my call, right? I've had some nasty protein drinks. I've been drinking those for years. Didn't need another one. But um, after that, Nick did a little bit of a getting started training. And then Pacetti comes over to me and he says, when do you want to do your first challenge party? I'm, I'm telling you this story because it's, this is exactly what you want to do with your folks. Okay? When we came out, he didn't wait you know, a week to say, Kevin, you need to be doing a party. He came over to me and he says, now 350 people there. He asked myself and several other folks, when did we want to do our first party? And he gave us a couple of dates. I said Sunday, this was a Thursday night. Now, I didn't look at Stephanie to say, hey, can we do a party Sunday? Now, you know, if she was standing right here, she'd be looking at me funny. But <laughs> what my point in that was, I've got a guy who's a millionaire offering to come to my house and help me build a company. You might ought to think we could, we could uh, you know, Sunday, Sunday will be fine, right? <laughs> I mean, really, but she was like, well, you're going to clean the house. I was like, oh, that's fine, I'll clean it from the bottom. <laughs> but here's the deal. We had the number one guy in the company coming to my house. I might ought to have some folks in front of him, right? How do we do that? Put them through the phone. I says, Kyle, what's the most effective way to get people in my house in front of you? He says, well, you need to give them a couple of exposures. Back then, we weren't calling it Pick Two and Party. That wasn't the name. But, he, you know... When uh, you got Nick, Mike Craig, and Kyle Pacetti in one meeting, okay? I mean, can you imagine the horsepower in that meeting? Oh yeah, Tim Kirkland was there. I mean, those are four of the top five money earners in the company right there in one room for my first meeting. I'm giving you an idea of why we went so hard, okay? We went so hard because I'd never seen anything like that, and I realized we were on the ground floor. No one had heard of it yet. And, I, and, I, and they said this, Nick said this that night, he says, if you do this, then you get this. If you do more of this, then you get more of this. See, at UPS, I was maxed out 10 years ago. There was nothing more that I could do to earn it. But here, no one had made the most. But the folks that were making a lot were making a whole bunch of money, And I wanted some of that. So I said, okay, I'll do a lot of this every day as much as I can possibly do, right? Well, here's where it started. We made a list. Every night I took, I took a red notepad at UPS, I still have it. I put a couple of hundred names on that list right away. If you're sitting in here and you're saying, well, I don't know a couple hundred people, shame on you, because you do. I didn't say 200 people that come to my house every Friday night for dinner and, you know, and hang out, right? 200 folks that recognize your face. You don't have to know their names. You know, a girl at 7-Eleven. Okay? Um, yeah, I mean, later that works at mattress firm, whatever, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. 25 to 50 names that you know. And the idea is to get the names off the list as fast as possible. I would take and I would make phone calls from Thursday night. I started calling Thursday night when I left the Marriott. Okay? We put four people in that night before midnight. Hit Rising Star Director that night, got a check on Monday. The party was on Sunday. Here's one thing, too. We scheduled, what is step two in the getting started training set? It says schedule your challenge party, right? Step two is schedule your challenge party. Well, we scheduled the party from the party. Here's a big one. Book a party from a party. If you leave a challenge party and you're not booking another party, they're in the water for a few days, okay? You have to know where you're going. My, this is so good. Kyle didn't care who was getting in. All he wanted to know was where was his next party. Because if you do enough of the parties and enough of the activity, they'll start to follow. Anybody agree with that? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's all we wanted to know is where am I going the next night, right? So get the names off the list, put them through the funnel. First tool, what is the first tool? 
by line. It's always there. This is me, and I'll just give you my conversation. I would call up my buddies. I called Steve Hill, another UPS man, 27, 28 years. I said, Steve, have you ever heard of the 90-day challenge? He says, no, what's that? I said, hey, it's a 90-day challenge to help people lose weight, get in shape, all right? Put on lean muscle. You got it. It's a meal replacement shake, and you need to try it. He says, you know what? I'm looking for a meal replacement shake. I said, Steve, there's an opportunity to make some money. He says, I don't want to make no money, but I am looking for a meal replacement shake. And you know what I did? I put I said, you got a second to listen to this byline? He said, no. And now I stopped asking that too after him. But I asked him, did he have a second to listen to the byline? And he said, no. Now, he's a coworker of mine. He's four hours south of where I live. I knew he said no, but I knew I had to get him on the byline. So you know what I did? I said, hold on a minute. Did he hang up? No. He, hoped, he held on. You know what I did? I three-wayed him into the byline. <laughs> so he just listened for about two minutes, and he knew what I was doing, but he couldn't stop it. All right? <laughs> After that, I hung the byline up, and I said, hey, man, listen, I know you're working right now. I know you're busy, but you got to go to my website to get a visual to go with what you just heard. This thing is exploding. Check it out. It'll show you what's in the shade. You can get, get more information from my website. I'm going to text it to you right now. I got to run, Steve. I'll call you back 930 tonight. And I was off the phone. Did I sell him? Did I sign him up? No. I gave him two exposures off the list. I did it inside of five, six, seven minutes, and I was done. But here's the cool, here's the cool deal, was the follow-up, okay? Now, I couldn't get him to a challenge party because it was three and a half hours, four hours south of Jacksonville. But the idea was, was to get him through the phone so that he's interested now when I can get him to, you know, a challenge party or, you know, send him some product or something, right? So that he's interested in getting more information. And you know what, today, that guy is an ambassador and he's about to retire, I believe, next month from UPS. Between us, we got 50 years. So that was one of the first calls I made. But put him through that and put him through party, okay? As if you put 20 people through the funnel, 10 to 15 are going to show up. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The more people you put on the list, the better chances you've got of folks coming to your first party. That first party is very important, okay? If you guys are writing down 18 names and saying that's all I can muster up, I'm sorry, you've got to go back to the drawing board. The blueprint for your success starts with your names list. Don't come out of there with at least 50 names, okay? I mean, I got 19 year olds that are writing 300 names on a, on a notepad. Yeah, they may be all between 17 and 21, but we'll take them, right? Doesn't really matter. We got 19 year olds driving brand new BMWs in South Florida. I'm not talking about one or two of them. I mean, six or seven of them show up at a house. You can't argue with that, can you? <laughs> I mean, if these kids can do it, there's no excuse for anyone else. So uh, put them through the phone, all right? Obviously, six rising stars and your popping bugs in your new BMW, right? Uh, create uh, 12 uh, BMWs and you're an ambassador. Now, one thing I want to say about that is we're rolling out a new program right now. I was talking to Scott Whitney about it in the back. And uh, Mark and uh, Tracy, I emailed uh, uh, copy of the program that we're using right now uh, in our organization. I was on a, uh, a five-star call yesterday with Nick and a bunch of the uh, five-stars, and Mike Craig called me after the five-star call and says, Kevin, I want to run something by you. Now, y'all know who Mike Craig is, right? Uh, Mike's got to put Nick, uh, Kyle Pacetti in. He used to be the vice president of Vice House. When Mike Craig calls you, 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 you listen. And so Mike says, hey, I got something I'm working on. It's called the 12 Cars of Christmas. And I thought, okay, cool. It's kind of like the 12 days of Christmas. Traditionally in networking, December is a slow month because everybody's in holiday mode, right? Well, here's the deal. We're going to take the 12 days of Christmas and turn it into the 12 cars of Christmas. I'm going to give you this quick program. I'm going to talk you through it. But uh, uh, the Whitney's and uh, the Pouliots are going to email this out. And Tom, I'm going to have it emailed out to your team and everybody so that you can use this program the first three weeks in this month before Christmas. If you're not a regional director, who would like to qualify for their car before Christmas? Okay, this is a program that you can use. It's called the 12 Cars of Christmas. I'm going to talk you through it, but you'll get an email, and it is very detailed of what you need to do. Okay, here's the deal. We get, we've got uh, three weeks before Christmas, okay? All right, our, our pay weeks work. Uh, you know, from Friday, which was yesterday, to Thursday night, we get paid on Monday. We have two more pay cycles between now and Christmas, okay? So here's the deal. We want to maximize 
the next three weeks and put you in a car before Christmas. Here's what we're going to do. Each leader, okay, you have to do this or execute this plan within a, a, a local market. All right? If you're a brand new person here, then you're going to go out and you're going to try to identify some people within your team, okay? Or if you don't have folks on your team already, you can start with just you. If you're a regional director in here, I would take and identify 12 people on my team and roll this plan out to them so that you've got a team of you guys doing this together. And I'll show you why in a second. There's going to be an accountability call that you're going to execute every week so that you can keep everyone accountable week to week. Because this is the easiest time to get sidetracked with all the stuff that's going on with the holidays. Amen? Amen? Okay, so you want to go out, all right, and identify 12 people that you can work with and do this. If you're brand new, it can be 12 other brand new people in this market, okay? Get with the national director or above that can execute the, uh, the call at the end of every week. But here's the program. The first week started yesterday, Friday, okay? You're going to go out and you're going to enroll three new ESSs between Friday and Thursday, the 8th of next week, okay? Three new ESSs, all right? Personally enrolled, okay? The next week starts on the 9th through the whatever that next day is. You're going to enroll three more ESSs the second week. And then the last week, okay, from Friday to Thursday night, you're going to take each one of those six and turn them into rising star directors. Okay? Turn them into directors that last week, the third week. That program, if you back up one slide here, that is basically what makes a regional director. Okay? It's six rising stars makes a regional director. And I know you're probably saying, well, you know what? If I could just do that, I'd already be in my BMW, right? Well, here's the deal. What makes this a little bit more powerful is the accountability program. You're going to do this with other leaders in your market or other brand new people in your market. Okay? Here's the deal. You're going to pre-party from Friday through Sunday. You're going to get with each person in that market, and you guys are going to put together phone calling sessions, war rooms, whatever you want to call them, and pre-party Friday to Sunday. Challenge parties from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, on Thursday night, the weekends, right? We're going to have an accountability call on Thursday night. All right, just to check in with everyone, keep them on, keep them on track. You know, uh, encourage the ones that are maybe falling a little bit behind, console, and then give them the, the 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 motivation, the encouragement to go out the next week and execute it again. Okay, I'm telling you what, guys. When Mike and I were on the phone yesterday, we were getting excited about it because here's the deal. This month right here is going to happen anyway, and the company's growing. We're in major momentum right now, so we're going to see some amazing numbers. But if you take and give your teams a plan where they can actually have an action plan this month, I'm telling you, in January, February, March, your team is just going to completely explode. And can you imagine taking this program in the month of January, February, and March and executing it in your organization? Your numbers will be nuts, okay? But at the end of each week, the accountability call is on Thursday night. You launch the week out again on Friday, Thursday night you end again, and, and so forth. On the 22nd, which is the end of the program, there's going to be some kind of a party sometime between the 22nd and Christmas to recognize all of the new car winners, okay? That's why it has to be done in each market. All right, Scott Whitney can't, you know, can't run this program in, you know, uh, Canada if he's not going to be up there. It has to be in that local market so that you can hold these people accountable and do the party with those folks. Okay? Does that does that sound like a decent program that we can execute between now and Christmas? So three the first week, three the second week, turn those guys into rising star, all six of them into rising star directors. It's amazing what happens, guys, when you put enough people in at one time. There's a chemistry that's developing in that team. Some of the people that we put in at the very beginning, the first month, today, are tighter than pantyhose two sizes small. Because of the series. Good time to do that. But anyway. Where that came from. But, but, but you, put, you put six brand new folks in, and they feed off each other's energy. Okay? They feed off each other's energy, and it's just an amazing, amazing run. So we're going to get that program emailed out to everyone. Okay, 
And uh, I, I want to hit something real quick here. Uh, you know, uh, in the beginning when we started, uh, uh, it, it all goes back to the, to the dream, the struggle, and the victory. Okay? It's the dream, the struggle, and the victory. You know, when we started, we had a dream of wanting a little bit more than what we had. And here's the deal. You have to determine what it is you want. Okay? If you don't have a big enough reason why, all right, then you're not going to do it. Because as soon as there's a little bit of opposition, a little bit of a struggle, you're gone. It throws you out of the saddle and you're done, right? If you've got a big enough reason why, you will do it. My reason why was, you know what? I was maxed out. There was nothing else that I could do at UPS. And you know what? I, I wanted to be free. You know, I say on the video, talk about job option. I wanted to roll over instead of rolling out. You know, I wanted to wake up and I was done sleeping. I wanted to take my boys to school and if I wanted to spend the whole day with them, spend the whole day. I wanted to not have to think about money all the time. Everything we did was based on how much. I got sick of that, all right? 20 years of that is sickening, okay? I always wonder what the other side did like when you didn't have to think about money all the time. If you didn't have to base your decisions on money, how would you live? If you just based it on what you wanted to do, when you wanted to do it, with the people you wanted to do it with, how, how would that be? Let's try that a couple of years, right? <laughs> I mean, that was us in the beginning. That was the dream. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. There's going to be a struggle. you got to figure out what you're going to give up. What you're going to give up to get this dream. Because there's going to be a sacrifice. For me, it was sacrificing time with Stephanie and the boys. You know, I remember uh, one of my boys, uh, Katie, they were three at the time. Me and you, three years old. They so smart. Daddy, uh, you got to go do another one of those meetings tonight. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I got to go again tonight. He's like, okay, well, when are we going to play? And you got to know it ripped my heart out because I could. I could stay home and play, you know, but instead of going to do a party and then go to work a little later when they go to bed. But you know what? I doubled up on my time because I knew I had to give up some time to get it. And you know what? The other one, I retired. We ordered that 20 passenger stretch Hummer. And I took those boys in that 20 passenger Hummer. You got to know four-year-olds, a, a black woman, as long as his room pull up, they're like, whoa, that's cool. And they went to work with me, you know, for the last time. And I told them, I said, Daddy's retiring today. They don't really understand what that means, but he says, okay, uh, what does that mean? I'm like, that means I get to spend more time with you. And, and Caden says, well, you mean like 10 hours? And he does his hands like this. And I says, no, a little bit more than 10 hours. And he says, so you mean like 100 hours? puts his hands as far apart as he can. And I'm about to cry just thinking about it, but here's the deal. I said, you know what? A hundred hours. Because that's what he equates it to, is spending a hundred hours with him in Christ. And you got to know what that was like. You know, to, to look him in the eyes and say, you know what? A hundred hours of time is what I can spend with you now. And in every struggle we had in the beginning was worth it. You know, it wasn't about how much money we could make. And yeah, we're going to make a lot of money, y'all. But it was about the freedom. You know, it was about one day Stephanie crying to me at, at night, you know, she had $42 in her checking account. And you got to know as a man, that rips your heart out. All right? And we're laying there in the bed at night, no lights on, but I could hear her crying. And I'm thinking, $42 in the checking account, nothing to say this. And I'm thinking, that's not good, Kevin. You got to do something about it. And you know what it's like now? To just see her go into a store, and, and she's still getting used to it. She ain't used to it yet. We went in the mattress firm the other day and we needed a new mattress. I spent more money on this mattress than I ever thought you could spend on almost a car. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, how cool was that to watch her roll around on every mattress in the store about a most expensive <laughs> and have it delivered the next day? And the girl says, well, we have a great financing program. I'm like, finance? Really? People finance these? You know, can we just pay cash? And she's like, that would be refreshing. <laughs> And, and I'm telling you what, just the little, just the little victories, the dream, the struggle, and the victory, it's going to be worth it, guys. It's going to be worth it. You know, you're going to get to a point where, you know, uh, instead of working all the hours of overtime, you're going to not have to work overtime. Some of you just want to work 40 hours a week. I remember that. I remember having to work all the overtime because I got used to the big check. What if you could just cut out the overtime? What if you could get to the point where you took a week off without paying? I was the best at that. <laughs> I just started not showing up. 
<laughs> Try that. They will call you. Okay? I, I didn't go to work for six months. I was still employed. And you got to know, for 20 years, they had their thumb. They owned me for 20 years. And I got a call May 1st of last this year. And my boss's boss's boss said, Kevin, you got to come back to work. And I said, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to come back this week. And he says, yeah, I heard you making all this money in that thing. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's doing okay. And he says, well, I need you next week. I says, next week's no good. I'm already scheduled out. He says, well, the third week of May, I need you. Says, well, the third week of work, uh, week of May ain't going to work. In three cities that week. Well, I got to have you in the last week. I said, well, I'll tell you what, that's the end of the month, and I got to close. <laughs> and he says, well, what are you going to do? And I says, I guess uh, I need to retire. I never really thought about that before, but I guess I need to quit or retire. What do I need to do? And he goes, are you serious? <laughs> I says, yeah. I says, T just, you know, work up my numbers. Tell me what I need to do to quit or retire. And uh, you can give me a call back. And he says, okay. And he had somebody call me. And you know what? Effective that day, I quit. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let me tell you what we all was coming. That conversation I had in May uh, of this year with Nick Sarnacola in my car. I asked Nick. I got a big decision to make. I need to decide whether I'm going to continue to work at UPS and do my salary on the side. Um, you know, should I straddle the fence, keep my good job, okay, or should I go all in? And I had a big boy conversation with Nick. I'm taking him to the airport. I only got 20 minutes of his time. And I said, Nick, I need to know, man, do I quit my job or do I stay? He said, I can't tell you to quit your job, but I can ask you a couple of questions. He says, Kevin, if you continue to work. First of all, he asked me how much money was I making. It's about 15 grand a month in, in my salary. And I wasn't getting any money from UPS because I wasn't working for six months. But he says, you know, obviously you can live on that. That's a good salary. Says, but let me ask you this. What does it cost you if you continue to work at UPS? Okay? If you're working 50 hours a week, how much does it cost you if my salary goes into momentum and you miss the momentum because you're trying to keep your good job over here? I said, okay, good question. He says, now let me ask you another question. What if you catch the momentum, you quit UBS or retire, whatever you do, and you catch this momentum wave that we're experiencing right now in my salaries? What is it worth? And I said, okay, good deal. Then, he, then I asked him a question, because I needed to know, you know where he was with this. You know, he's made millions of dollars over the last couple of years. He's done financially, okay? I said, Nick, I need to know, why are you doing this? Because you're not doing it with money done. You were done before you stepped out of the field to come out here and do it. And he says, you're right. He says, uh, I want to break the record. And I thought, well, what record? You know? And he says, he looks at me, he's texting on his Blackberry, and he pauses. We're going through downtown Jacksonville. He looks over at me and he says, I want, I want to break the record. I want to earn more in a year than anyone's ever earned in network market. Not because I need money, but because I want to rewrite history. And I want to do something that's never been done. And you got to know, guys, sitting next to a guy that wants to make history and break the record of income and network marketing, you got to know it's Nora. It's, it's a big number, guys. Way over 10 million a year. Way over, okay? I'm sitting next to this guy who wants to break the record. Do you think, for one second, if I got anywhere near him, that I would have to worry about a job? Do you think? If I, if I adapted just a little bit of his mindset and work at it, that I would ever have to worry about money again. See, at that moment was when my job went out of the window. I literally quit UPS at that moment. Because I thought to myself, you know what? We get one shot at this. This will happen one time. And you know what? 10 years from now, you'll look back on it and you'll say, yeah, I kept my job, and eventually one day I retired. 14 years from now, I could retire from UPS, by the way, and make $2,000 a month. Or I could throw 20 years away, step out on faith, and go do what I know I can do. And you know what? A lot of folks thought we were crazy when I left on May 19th. And I was a little nervous because I'd never been without a job. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. You've never been without a job. But you know what? With 18 months, who does that? We do. No, 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 you know what I mean. <laughs> who does that outside of, outside of my salary? And here's, here's the 
be a law. If it was just Stephanie and I, then we'd be up here bragging. But it's not. There's tons of stories of people that have gone out and put together five-figure monthly incomes in a matter of a couple of months, six months, or less. Look at the pool yachts. It took us six months to do it. You guys did it in, what, three and a half, four months? Four and a half months. Are you kidding me? I don't like you guys anymore. <laughs> Good job. No, really. I mean, that's what it's about, guys. We get one shot at this. One shot. It is going to happen with or without. Everybody in this room can decide if this doesn't work. We can all decide that it doesn't work. But here's the deal. It's going to happen. See, the momentum has started. We can't stop what's about to happen to our income. It's coming. Not 300 of us, 250 of us cannot stop it. It's going to happen. You just have to decide how much of it you want. Because we're going to a billion dollars, and we're going to change thousands and thousands and millions of lives. We're going to do something that's never been done. We're going to run a company to a billion dollars in the North American market. It's never been done. The last company to do a billion dollars in the industry was New Skin in 1984. Wouldn't you love to just stand on a mountaintop somewhere two years, three years, five years from now, and stand back and look at the numbers and say, look at what we created. We're on a ski slope, you see where our Floridians, that's cool to be on a ski slope. <laughs> We're on a ski slope somewhere, all right, thinking what in the world happened in the last five years. Every one of us is multi-millionaires, and we've been able to help thousands of people all over the world. Just because we stepped out of faith, we went to work, and we followed a proven pattern and a system that was duplicatable. And you know what, guys? This just makes sense. We drink a $2 milkshake that's cheaper than junk food. It tastes good, and it helps you to lose weight, put on lean muscle. It's the best thing that you put in your system all day, and everybody wants to lose a pound or two. Come on, can we get some of that? I want to do something real quick. I want to, uh, because, you know, again, it's not just about Stephanie and I. Uh, I want to bring up the leaders in this market, all of the ambassadors in this market. Will y'all come and join me in the pool yachts? Scott Whitney, you guys enjoy me. Y'all come on up. Y'all give me a hand.